Hi friends and welcome back to Urdu Gameplays. This is me Aurangzeb and today I will teach you how to run the famous Brian Lara Cricket 99 second edition for XP. Uh, it's just the name. Uh, don't worry about the 2008 or second edition or the XP thing. So this is uh, the name because you can run the SE version on latest operating systems like uh, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, uh, Windows 10, Windows 11, etc. I didn't test this on Windows 11 yet as I'm still on Windows 10 64 bit, but I think it should work on Windows 11 as well because there's not much difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11. Anyway, the first thing you need to do is to find this ISO file. The size you can see is almost 457 MB, is almost 457 MB. And mind this name, blc99se.iso. You can also search for this exact phrase on Google to find the ISO torrent RAR or whatever then you can install that and the installation procedure is pretty much simple and once it's installed you can search for the Windows XP patch uh, for Brian Lara Cricket 99 also known as 199 so this patch can be found on planetcricket.org or you can request me by contacting me on my Facebook page or directly DM me on my Facebook profile and I'll be happy to provide you with this patch if I have it till then. And once you download this patch, this will provide you some exe files like 3dfx.exe and uh, d3dhigh.exe, d3dlow.exe, etc. It will contain some exe files as this is mentioned here. And you just need to copy, paste and replace the existing exe files. So once that's done, you can start the game using the launcher, the game.exe and it will show an error and it will say Processor speed, your computer clock speed is approximately minus 90 mhz. This is below the minimum specification of 200 mhz. So just ignore this error. I mean, this game was developed uh, way before. I mean, like in year 1998. So this is bound to happen. And as Codemaster isn't releasing any kind of update for this game. So when you click OK, after applying the Windows XP patch, this dialog box should show up and you need to click run game and that will open up another dialog box and now you need to choose between 3dfx, riva tnt, direct 3d, direct 3d software. So this direct 3d button should do it. I mean this always works for me. I don't know what's your graphic card but this one should work for everyone. So when you click this, the game will launch without any issues. I will just show you that in a moment. But first, let me tell you one another thing. And that is you can uh, find this software DG Voodoo. D Google it and this is a free one. Download it and copy the exe file into the game folder as you can see I have this here run that and apply these settings go to DirectX tab change the resolution to your favorite one to make it play on 1080p or full screen or upscale the default resolution which is very very low you can also change the VRAM to maximum so it won't lag on your computer and then 
you can see all the settings here you can copy these settings i'm using digivoodoo 2.42 but uh, by the time you are watching this maybe there is an updated version but if somehow that doesn't work for you you can always try this 2.42 version as digivoodoo provides all the previous versions on the internet so some versions work with some games and others work with some other games and i forgot to mention you also need to copy uh, this file ddraw.dll you can find this file when you download the dg voodoo 2 app open that and you can find that file in the ms folder there are actually two files and this one is ddraw.dll the other one is d3dl double m dot dl but uh, i think you don't need to copy that inside this game folder only you need to copy this file from the dg voodoo ms folder and this step is optional and only applicable if you want to run the game uh, on widescreen or upscaled so one another important thing i want to tell you is that uh, make sure you insert the iso using any virtual drive i have installed uh, wincdm let me show you the icon of that app here is wincdm and this is a free utility which you can easily find on google if you search for wincdm install that and after installing that you can mount any kind of iso uh, as a virtual drive dvd drive etc so when you right click the blc 99 sc.iso you can see the option of select drive letter and mount uh, installing this software isn't really necessary because you can also mount the iso using the windows option but i installed this anyway because this supports many uh, disk image uh, formats like iso bin q etc so you get the idea furthermore if you still get the error please insert disk when you try to launch the game that means you are not uh, you don't have the correct version which is in this case vlc 99 sc and may take a note of the size of this iso okay so this covers almost everything i wanted to tell you because i i had many requests uh, on how to run brian lara cricket on windows 10 and windows 11 so now it's time to run the game double click game.exe same error click run game and select drag 3d from here And here you go, as you can see now you can play the game. So hope I helped you uh, in running Brian Lara 99 also known as 199 on uh, latest windows version so if i helped you make sure you subscribe to urdu gameplays i will see you in some other video until then goodbye england have elected to bat
Well, the umpires are already making their way out into the middle, so let's have a look at the two lineups today. And what are your thoughts on these two teams, then, Jeff? India must be the favourites here today. England have a strong one-day side, but find it hard to consistently match the best teams. The batting looks strong on paper with some powerful stroke makers, and the bowling, backed up by some tight feeling, is good. What they really lack is a class player or two. India have an exciting one-day batting lineup and a good bowling attack. They can post large totals batting first, but have a tendency to collapse when chasing runs. On the day, they can be a formidable opposition, but mainly if they bat first. Well done, thanks, Geoffrey. There's a full house here, waiting expectantly for play to begin. Knight is going to take the first ball. That's beaten the fielder to the fence. Yes. There's the first runs of the match for England. 